couldn't just talk about the Krebs cycle and not talk about glycolysis, right? Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified diabetes educator, and owner of KimRoseDietitian.com. If you haven't already checked out my website, please make sure you go ahead and do so. For my returning subscribers, welcome. For all my new subscribers, there are some videos below on my YouTube channel that I want you to take a look at, so don't be shy. Go ahead and look around, familiarize yourself with my channel, with my videos, with my content, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe. So last week, what I did, I discussed the crab cycle with you, and I decided to make it a little fun. Instead of sitting here and listening to me go about my discourse on the crab cycle, I made it into a quiz, and you guys did great with it. I couldn't just talk about the Krebs cycle and not talk about glycolysis, right? So this week, we are going to be doing a quiz on glycolysis. How much do you really know? Let's test your memory. As in last week's video, which is popping up right now, I gave you guys six questions, I gave you multiple choice answers, and some time to respond. So today we're going to do the exact same thing with glycolysis. So without any further ado, let's get into the six questions I have for you. So question number one, the end product of glycolysis is what three carbon molecule? If you said pyruvate, that is absolutely correct to give yourself a round of applause. Question number two, glycolysis starts out with what six carbon compound? If you said C6H12O6, also known as glucose, that is correct. Question number three. In glycolysis, how many net ATPs are produced as an end product? If you said that it's a net gain of two, that is absolutely correct. Question number four. What enzyme is used to convert glucose 6-phosphate into fructose 6-phosphate. If you said phosphoglucose isomerase, you got it. Question number five. What cofactor is used to phosphorylate glucose into G6P, which is glucose 6-phosphatase? If you said magnesium, you're correct. And the last question, question number six, is glycolysis an oxygen dependent or oxygen independent reaction? You got it, it is oxygen independent. Let me know how you did in the comment section below. Don't feel bad if you didn't do as well as you wanted. Just go ahead, look at glycolysis again. I'll be honest with you, I had to look at it again for this video to refresh my memory and take this quiz again. Other from that, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video. Have a good day, bye.